Milo Ventimiglia and his role as Jack Pearson were instantly popular when This Is Us began in 2016. The NBC blockbuster series takes a candid look at life's ups and downs, family, love, and grief. Ventimiglia and his co-stars have won a spot on the A-list as a result of the series' huge success. Fans across the globe loved watching Milo weekly on screen playing the beloved Jack Pearson, the greatest dad. Unfortunately, the show will not continue after season six, which is a shame as we will greatly miss all of these characters that we have come to know and love. We wanted to take Take a deep dive into Ventimiglia's background and how he rose to fame along with his earnings. In today's video, we're going to discuss everything about Milo Ventimiglia along with his net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Who is Milo Ventimiglia? Ventimiglia was born on July 8, 1977 in New York City. Carol, Nee Wilson, and Peter Ventimiglia, a Vietnam War veteran, Veteran, raised him in Anaheim, California. Leslie and Laurel are his two sisters. His father is of Italian and Sicilian ancestry, while his mother is English and Scottish. Ventimiglia, like actor Sylvester Stallone, who he worked with in Rocky Balboa, was born with damaged facial nerves, leading to the left side of his lips to stay immovable. Ventimiglia went to the same high school as Saturday Night Live cast member and writer Mikey Day, El Modena High School in Orange, California. Ventimiglia wrestled, starred in theatrical performances, and served as president of the student government in high school, graduating in 1995. Ventimiglia enrolled in the American Conservatory Theater summer program at the age of 18 and went on to study theater at the University of California, Los Angeles. Ventimiglia briefly attended UCLA as a theater major after graduating in 1995 before obtaining a job on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He then appeared on CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, and Boston Public as a guest star. Ventimiglia portrayed Jess Mariano on Gilmore Girls from 2001 to 2004. He had a recurring part on NBC's American Dreams and was cast as the lead in the WB series The Bedford Diaries. In 2006, Ventimiglia portrayed Rocky Balboa's son in Rocky Balboa, the sixth and final film of the Rocky franchise. Ventimiglia's big break came in 2006 when he was cast in NBC's Heroes as nurse-turned-superhero Peter Petrelli, a role he portrayed for four seasons. Grown Ups 2, Grace of Monaco, and Killing Seas are among his film credits. Then from 2013 to 2014, Milo starred in the Chosen series where he played the character of Ian Mitchell. Following this role, he landed the role of Jack Pearson on the hit series This Is Us, which has undoubtedly been his claim to fame. Milo Ventimiglia Net Worth and Earnings Milo Ventimiglia has appeared in a number of television episodes and films. In addition to his role as Jess Mariano on Gilmore Girls, following Gilmore Girls, he won the main part in WB's The Bedford Diaries and a supporting role in NBC's American Dreams. His major break before This Is Us, of course, came in 2006, when he earned a role on NBC's hit series Heroes, according to sources. For four seasons, he played Peter Petrelli, a nurse-turned-superhero. Milo Ventimiglia worked on a number of films after his big break, including Grown Ups 2, Killing Season, and Pathology, before getting a role on This Is Us in 2016. His extensive acting career, according to Celebrity Net Worth, has amassed him a net worth of around 12 million U.S. dollars. So how much does Milo Ventimiglia make per episode? Well, according to the internet, with his extensive experience within the acting world, along with landing the award-winning role as Jack Pearson on This Is Us, where he essentially is one of the main and key parts of the show's success, you can imagine he gets paid the big bucks. The network apparently pays Milo around $85,000 per episode in Season 2, along with giving him a $250,000 bonus on top. Now, this was only for Season 2, so you can imagine just how much he is making now that they just finished airing Season 5. We have to estimate over $100,000 per episode for certain. Milo Ventimiglia lifestyle and how he spends his millions. Personal life. From 2003 through July 2006, Ventimiglia and former Gilmore Girls co-star Alexis Bladell were in a relationship. From December 2007, until February 2009, Ventimiglia dated his Heroes co-star Hayden Panettiere. Ventimiglia and his sisters were raised on a lacto-vegetarian diet, which he has continued as an adult. In 2009, he was crowned the sexiest vegetarian by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. He also does not consume alcohol or smoke cigarettes. The Clash, The Smiths, and Morrissey are among his favorite bands. From July 6 to July 12, 2008, Ventimiglia participated in a United Service Organization tour in support of American troops in Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan. 
can, born with a crooked mouth. The heartthrob behind Jack Pearson has lived his entire life with his self-described crooked lips. Before his roles on Gilmore Girls and Heroes, the young actor was regularly chastised by casting directors for a smile. They'd be like, could you stop doing that thing with your mouth where your lip is going down? He told people last year on the Jess Cagle interview. And I'd be like, hey, I was born that way. I can't get away from it now. It's who I am, you know. I've got a crooked mouth. Milo said that the asymmetry was caused by dead nerves in his lower lip, which he was born with. I used to talk out of the side of my face when I was younger, he continued. He didn't notice his lopsided appearance until he was a kid and saw himself on the local news and questioned his mother if that's how he looked when he spoke. His love for cars. Milo Ventimiglia has a huge passion and love for all things cars, and so he should, since he earns over $12 million annually. In an interview with Architectural Digest, he sat down and answered plenty of questions, many of which were centered around his love for cars. He told the magazine that he found it extremely easy to play a character from the 1980s, as he has a love for all things antique, especially old cars, saying, I've always been into old cars and things that are from a different time. Antiquated or analog tools or film versus digital, he told AD. We live in a modern era, so I kind of like to hold reverence of the old, but still function in the new. It's a treat to be on set, and I definitely pull my camera out when we're filming in the past. Ventimiglia's fondness for the past is reflected in his love of automobiles. His Instagram account is full of photos of antique cars, and his personal 1967 Chevelle was used as a prop on an episode. As a result, it was only natural for him to join Kelly Blue Book in announcing its Best Buy Awards, a ranking of the best 2019 automotive models in 14 major categories. When asked about this, Milo said, I remember being a kid and my dad would either have you working in the garage or working in the yard. Working in the garage felt better to me than working in the yard. So yeah, I guess I've always kind of been a little bit of a gearhead. I like to drive different things for different reasons. It's like putting on a different jacket, a light jacket or a heavier jacket, depending on the weather. I've got my classic muscle car. I've got my newer luxury Audi. I've got an old wagon Cadillac that I've had for more than 10 years. Then I've got my motorcycle. So I kind of bounce around depending on what I feel like doing that day. When asked about his preferred taste in cars, he said, my taste in cars has evolved. I remember when I was a kid, I would have posters of Porsches. You'd see 16 candles and you'd want a 944 Porsche. But for me nowadays, I look at a car as a functioning tool. It gets me from point A to point B. Co-owner of a production company. Milo Ventimiglia is a co-owner and operator of the Divide Pictures Production Company. It's a mall world, Ultradome, Chosen, The Pet Squad Files, and Relationship Status are just a few of the shows he's worked on. He's also directed an episode of Ultradome, and it's a mall world. Humanitarian Acts. Milo Ventimiglia toured Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan with the USO in 2008. In 2009, he went on a second tour, which took him to Germany and Turkey. He is a member of the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, IAVA. This charity assists veterans who have served in the military. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Milo Ventimiglia and how he rose to fame throughout his extensive acting career. He first catapulted into the spotlight in Gilmore Girls, where he played the bad boy who you couldn't help but like. Then he played the beloved dad in the hit series This Is Us. He is definitely an incredible actor, and we are very intrigued to see what he will feature in next. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.